So I wanted to write US Assembly since the day I joined uh, American MD program. That was my main goal and uh, when I heard that there's a US Assembly program in Georgia, I was like sure let's go. And uh, so basically I've come to Georgia before and that's why I like the country so much and then I was like okay sure let's study here. And uh, I think it was good the entire journey. Honestly the best the most important thing for the exam is to have a big support system and obviously my parents were the biggest support for me and and also my friends back at home and even here they were there was such a huge support like every time i had to fall back to someone they were always there to like catch me and bring me back on my feet it was so good <laughs> i was just studying alone but also my roommate took the exam along with me so we would like discuss in between but we were not like studying together i just prefer studying alone so I was doing alone. So mainly the best thing that I found was in USMD program, the syllabus is always uh, correlated with the first aid and the first aid pages and that really helped because when I was studying for the exam, it was not like I was doing it for the first time. I was, I already did it during the classes so I already knew what was in the book and I just had to like make it more thorough and that's how the uh, program helped and also the teachers, some of the teachers were so good. Basically Dan had taken classes for my batch, uh, he, took a, he took classes for mainly focusing on USMLE and it really helped because he would mainly focus on the main important topics. I gave my exam in Dubai and I was so nervous the entire time, like I, I was so nervous but when I went for the exam, my exam was at 8.30 in the morning and right when I entered the hall, I felt so much better. When I started the exam, I was like, okay, now I'm here to do this. I was, I was actually more excited to like do the exam then. I was not nervous anymore. And, uh, I, and like we have like an hour of break, so I took a break after every block and it was, I think it helped. And there was another girl with me like who was also doing USMB. I don't know her, I don't even know her name now. But it was nice knowing that someone else was like doing it along with me and we would like talk in between. We were like, how is it going? It was fine. <laughs> the day I got my results, it was it was more exciting for me because I was like, oh my god, I'm finally going to like get done with this one step. And like the pre like it takes two weeks for us to get the results and the entire two weeks, I was honestly very busy during the two weeks, I was doing something else. And but the entire time I got a free time, I would sit and think about how the exam went and I would like go through Reddit and everyone would be telling about how their exam went and it would make me feel a little better. And I think towards the end when I got my result, I was a little confident that I would pass, but I just wanted to see it. I just wanted to see the score report and know that I passed. And it was so nice when I told my parents, they were so happy about it. <laughs> my advice mainly is, like everyone says, start from the first day. And I wish I took that more seriously. Like when, when someone told me to start from the first day, I was like, yeah, I'll start. Maybe I have to, I have to enjoy my life a little, but I think it, like starting from the first day doesn't mean you have to start like you know properly studying every day at least going through first aid pages whatever the topic you're studying in I think that really helps like to know the book well and that was that's my main advice and to always have a good support system like to make sure who will support you through everything and it's Honestly, it is a very hard exam to study for mainly writing it. If you studied already, then it's good. Like you don't have to worry about writing the exam, but studying for it was a huge task by itself. And like I was studying like 15 to 16 hours per day and that depends on like everyone else, like, you know, how it works, how they study. But this is how I usually study for my exams. Plan for studying. Basically, it's about uh, how what works for you. Uh, like how you study uh, usually as in when I watch, when I was studying I watched a lot of YouTube videos telling me how to study and what resources to use but at the end of the day it was just so overwhelming for me like I just had to do what I would always do and uh, so m the main resources I mainly use like uh, Boards and Beyond others would use Pathoma I just did a little bit of Pathoma and that was mainly it like uh, just do whatever you always do don't you don't have to try something new during the time you're studying for your exam because that's very overwhelming to know something else and yeah that's all <laughs>